Hey, the content used in this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. All rights to the images, music, clips, and other materials used belong to their respective owners. I do not claim ownership over any third party content used in this video. Let's get to the video, dog. Nissan just announced, guys. Nissan just announced 9,000 layoffs. Now, make that make sense to me better. Nissan Motors will cut 9,000 jobs and 20% of its global manufacturer capacity. The automaker said on Thursday as it scrambles to reduce costs by 2.6 billion in the current fiscal year amid a sales slump in China and the US. Now, what could be going on in China <laughs> in the US? Are they having a downward economy? Uh no is the economy going in a downward direction and if you said yes ding 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 you're right see a lot of times the writing is already on the wall guys you just have to read it it's right there we have been talking about this saying look it's going to get worse and everybody if you've been on the side which i'm currently on which is that people are going to continue to lose jobs and that we're going to be in a recession for a while it's going to be hard for a while until it turns around once again these are patterns hey yo baby d get your little ass over here on the mic man show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew man spit that shit Shit on gold, gold, shine, gold, glasses, prime, time like Dion. Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. The economy is doing great. I mean, if you listen to the media. <laughs> Nissan just announced, guys. Nissan just announced 9,000 layoffs. Now, make that make sense to me. If everything is going great, like everyone says it is, if we're having a soft landing, <laughs> a soft landing, then why would Nissan announce 9,000 layoffs? That is, in fact, the definition of a soft landing. That is a huge number. But we're going to talk about it, guys. We're going to talk about what's happening with Nissan. Why is this happening and how this is going to affect you? You read here, Nissan announces 9,000 layoffs across Tennessee, U.S. amid efforts to cover severe losses. Now, if you haven't been following what's been going on in the economy, you've been living underneath a rock, or maybe you're just a loyalist. <laughs> Uh, and you believe that all these companies are loyal to you and that they will never, ever, ever, ever fire you. <laughs> <laughs> and you think this is just a, a small bump in the road um, when it comes to the economy, where the economy is going. You're listening to individuals tell you, hey, 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 guess what? By the end of Christmas, this is just a seasonal thing. Guess what? The beginning of 2025, everybody's going to have a job back again. Don't worry. Nothing is going to happen. Do not get along. I'm sorry for you to understand this, but everybody, that includes the companies, the corporations, everybody's going through a transition as the economy goes down in a downward direction. Don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google this. This is not a scenario where this is just some temporary thing that's happening right now. I say this all the time. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Nissan Motors will cut 9,000 jobs and 20% of its global manufacturer capacity. The automaker said on Thursday as it scrambles to reduce costs by $2.6 billion in the current fiscal year amid a sales slump in China and the U.S. Now, what could be going on in China <laughs> in the U.S.? Are they having a downward economy? Uh, no. Is the economy going in a downward direction? And if you said, yes, ding, 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 you're right. See, a lot of times the writing is already on the wall, guys. You just have to read it. It's right there. We have been talking about this saying, look, it's going to get worse. And everybody, if you've been on the side, which I'm currently on, which is that people are going to continue to lose jobs and that we're going to be in a recession for a while. It's going to be hard for a while until it turns around. Once again, these are patterns. These are things that we have seen continuously happen throughout history. And this isn't anything new.
That's my point, that Nissan, which has a US corporation headquarters in Franklin, announced it will cut 40 billion yen from its balance sheet to stabilize losses. But the company officials did not specify whether their largest facility will be affected. See, one of the things that is very confusing to a lot of individuals is when they read articles like this, and I've gotten emails and DMs on this exact subject, on the Nissan layoffs, 9,000 layoffs. And you know what people say to me? Orlando, Orlando. I mean, when I read the article, it looked like it wasn't going to be 9,000 layoffs in the US. It seems like it's gonna be mostly overseas. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let's just take a look at some key words to show you that you may be the person who's gonna about to get laid off. If that is what you're thinking, if you think that Nissan, <laughs> <laughs> with a headquarters in Franklin, Tennessee, that also said that it's losing sales in the US and China. The article that I'm reading from is the Tennessean. The Tennessean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. If you think all of those arrows point to China and not the US, oh man. We've been down this road before. Didn't I just do a video on Pepsi where Individuals didn't even get a notification that they were gonna get fired. They literally came to the facility and chains were on the doors. With the police saying, excuse me, sir, um, why are you here? You need to leave. Oh, I work here, sir. Uh, what did I say? Leave. It's not funny. And these individuals still come to my channel, <laughs> which I appreciate. Listen, I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And they say to me, Orlando, it's not happening here. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. And all I can say to those guys is, yeah, okay, if you say so. <laughs> but let's hear what the director of corporate communications said, said about Tennessee. He says, Tennessee is important to Nissan. We just announced a new product that's going to come out there and an all new Murano that will go into production later this year. But if you really, really listen to what he said, did he say, I'm not going to lay off individuals in Tennessee? Did he say the 9,000 cuts are not gonna happen in the US? <laughs> That's what he did say. Because if he meant that, if that was something that wasn't going to happen, wouldn't he have said that? Wouldn't that be something that these corporations would be holding up signs saying, hey, listen, we will not fire you in Tennessee. Wouldn't they say that? It sounds like he's trying to prepare you, trying to prepare you to let you down. He did not say anywhere in here, I will not lay off individuals in Tennessee or the US. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. Nissan. Well, I mean, it's Nissan. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not a Nissan owner, but I hear, I hear, and I see <laughs> that most people say Nissans are not good. They're not good cars. And you know, that's neither here or there, but based on the profit that they're losing, a 90% drop of income coming in, that will devastate any company. And then you have the fact that no one can afford a car. Prices of cars are going up. And if you have a product in this, in this exact environment, meaning no one wants to spend money, everything is expensive, and if you have a bad product on top of that, nobody, nobody's gonna buy. There isn't a line. Let me just put it like this. There isn't a line to buy Nissans. <laughs> there isn't a backlog of individuals trying to say, can I buy that Nissan? Can I get that new 2025? There isn't. No one is running to a dealership to buy a Nissan. And when you add on top of it, the economic situation that we're currently in right now, this is what you get. You get a company that thought that the last two to three years where, where people had money and more money and more money, that they were gonna continue to spend money with them. Sensational. And do not let anyone, the media or anyone else tell you that these cuts won't affect you. I am starting to see the narrative shift on these 9,000 cuts saying, oh, oh, by the way, these cuts aren't really happening here in the US. It's actually overseas. All of it's gonna happen there. That's craziness. That's, that's nuts if you really believe that. Stop it, get some help. If you believe that your headquarters is in Tennessee and you're not gonna have any cuts there, 
of 9,000 and they're all gonna be overseas when the losses happen in the US and in China? That, that's crazy. This is the reason why individuals are like, what are these guys talking about? That doesn't even make sense. Man, I'm dead. Individuals are getting smarter and smarter and saying, that doesn't make sense. The math ain't mathing. H how is it that all the cuts are happening there, but losses are happening here? Doesn't make sense. So guys, listen, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. These car manufacturers, these companies, Google, Amazon, tech companies, it's all going to get worse before it gets better. Individuals are gonna lose jobs. This is the reason why I make these videos so that individuals can read in between the lines and understand exactly what's happening in the economy. Say, man, I'm just here wiping down that motor, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when I ran across this story, man, the first thing popped in my mind was, uh, let's see what I'm doing. Just oil that bit down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Clean it up a little bit. But the first thing popped in my mind, man, was my people in Ken, you know what I'm saying? Back where I'm from, man, Jackson, Ken. You know, people come all the way from Vicksburg and it was a, my girl tell me, you know what I'm saying? To work all the way up there in that Ken plant. And uh, these folks talking about laying off 9,000 people, man. Uh, y'all need to check in with y'all supervisor, man, and see if that might potentially affect y'all, man. Y'all might be needing to go on Indeed and, you know, start looking at other options for employment, man, because you don't want to be cut off guard with this thing, man. You know, that's why I made this video, because hopefully a lot of people from the Mississippi area pay attention to these little videos that I be doing, man. So, you know, if this may affect you in some way, hey, man, look into it, you know. Uh, Tennessee ain't very far from Mississippi, bro, you know. So if they talking about it in Tennessee, man, might want to look into it. And then when you go for your next job, man, try to find you something that's a little bit more in uh in demand. You feel me? Like uh get into things that people are gonna need as a necessity. You feel me? Like the healthcare industry, man. Uh you know, people gonna need gas forever. If the gas stop running, then the cars stop running, the trucks stop running, and everything stop running. So Look into things that's like that, man. When you go for your next job and stuff like that, man. Uh, that way you get a little sense of security with your job. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's all I wanted to do, man. Just bring you that little info and uh, let you see if you know potentially this is something that could affect you. And I dropped my damn rag up under the car. But uh, yeah, man, just just tapping in with you, man, and. Spreading a little knowledge, bro, you know. We ain't really follow the gossip. We just here to, you know, try to shed light on some things that might directly affect the people that I have uh, relationships with. And we share a common a common lifestyle. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to messing with this car, man. But I just wanted to bring you that. She looking good, ain't it? Better than it was. It was dusty at first. All right, I'm back to it. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.